possibly happen to you, right? So a lot of times, especially when we're working with the back strap grip, right? Um, when we get the back strap grip and we do everything right and we're, we're starting to get to the back, right? So we've dropped down, we've started to pull our partner over, right? Here, right? A lot of guys are gonna be super flexible and they're gonna turn their bodies into you like that, right? And then you're gonna start to lose it because he's gonna be able to pull his arm out and now my back take turned into a bad position, right? So we have to be aware that that's a possibility and how to get out of that position when it happens, okay? So. When we're in this position, we've got our back strapped in, right? And we go to take the back, we put our hand down, we put our leg down, we pull him over, right? And we go to set that first hook, and he starts to do that. I've got to come back up, okay? I cannot stay down and let him clear his arm out. I've got to come back up, and I've got to get my elbow to the ground. Now from here, just like our closed guard back take, I'm gonna start to hip away from him. Hip, pull, hip, pull, right? And then I can secure the back, all right? So this is a common scenario for guys that are super flexible. They only have two options when you go to take your back. I'm gonna show you both of those options tonight, all right? So again, we're in the back. We've got our back strap grip, all right? He's not giving me the hooks and like that, so I've got to go to my regular back take. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop, I'm gonna put my hand on the ground, right? I'm gonna go to pull him, and this is gonna work, but he's gonna turn into me, right? So getting up and trying to go to the back is really not an option. I've got to get up so that his elbow can't get behind me. I can't have him circle his elbow around my head like this, right? And I can't have him pull his elbow through and put it behind me. Either one of those options are not good for me. Okay, so I've got to be here. My bottom hook is still in. So, and I've still got my back strap grip. So I'm just gonna utilize that to start to hip away. Hip away, and then start attacking the back again, okay? So, we're gonna practice that one, and then I'm gonna show you guys what happens when he turns the other direction and how to stop that as well, okay? So this is the first one. We're gonna have the back strap grip. We're not gonna have the hook in, all right? We're gonna set our knee to the ground and start pulling them. The bottom person is gonna turn their hips into you when you do that, all right? So I'm gonna show you guys the bottom part so that your partner can practice correctly, all right? So when he goes to drop down and pull me in, I'm just gonna turn my hips and face my hips towards him, all right? This is where he's gotta make a decision because if I get my arm in here, he's gonna be in trouble. So now he's got to start to hip and pull, hip and pull, and then secure his back position. Everybody got it? Yes, sir. Uh, we're gonna practice that one for a few minutes and then we're gonna deal with what happens when they turn the other way. Let's do it on three. One, two, three. Remember guys, we're not starting here with the back strap. And the reason why is because there's an arm trap here. If he traps my arm right here and starts to roll that way, right, I'm gonna lose all momentum and wind up over here on the other side of him, right? That's a, often like a setup for an arm lock or a wrist lock or something like that. So we're not sitting off to the side doing this. We're, we're in that rodeo stance, right? So my toes are on the ground, my hips are behind his hips, my butt's back behind his butt. I'm not over the top of his hips like this where my hips are over the top of his. I'm back here and I've got my back strap position. All right, so I've got my back strap grip here. I'm gonna put my hand to the ground. I'm gonna drop, my foot's gonna go flat to the floor, right? And I'm gonna start to pull him over. Now, as I start to pull him over this time, right? I'm starting to set my hook and he starts to turn in this direction instead, right? Go ahead, right? This is, he's unraveling the, the arm instead of turning into me, okay? So it's dangerous because if they're, if they're going after your neck, you can get choked when you do it, but it's the only two ways he has to escape. All right, but we're gonna show you how to battle it and how to stop it, okay? So I'm here, I've got my position, I've got my back strap grip, all right? I put my hand to the mat, I go flat tire to the ground, all right, and he starts to turn. I'm gonna grab the rodeo grip on him this time, all right? And this is gonna prevent him from being able to turn, okay? So he's here now. Now watch what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take this foot, right? And I'm gonna hook the back of his leg, all right? I'm gonna come up and I'm gonna pull my knee up behind him and then I'm gonna pull him on and set the second hook, bring it back, set my other hook. And I'm using the rodeo grip this time to prevent him from getting away from me, all right? So we're combining all these things together. All right, so we're here. I've got my back strap grip. 
All right? I drop my foot down, I put my hand down, right? I start to pull him to me. He starts to turn away from me. I'm gonna reach in here, I'm gonna get in the back of his collar. See, when I use the rodeo grip, I don't hold it out here. I put my elbow in so I can control him. All right, so now if he tries to turn into me, he cannot turn into me, all right? So from here, also to keep him from turning into me, I'm gonna hook the back of his leg, all right? So he cannot turn that direction as well, all right? So I'm gonna hook the back of his leg and I'm going to roll or pull my knee up behind his back and then I'm gonna pull him up onto it. I'm gonna use that knee as a ramp. Set my first hook. This one was behind the leg. So I'm gonna go back in the other direction and set my second hook, okay? At any time, if he starts guarding his legs, or starts guarding my legs, like from here, and he puts his hand down there to start guarding my legs, I'm gonna go after the neck, all right? This will make him stop with the leg and I can go back in and put my hook in, all right? He would much rather not get choked then give up his back, because he can fight if he got his back up. So anytime you start putting your arm around their neck, they're gonna make the choice to leave your feet alone so that you can go ahead and secure the position, all right? And then you're in another battle from there, all right? So, is that? Oh yeah, that's it. Okay, so we're here. We reach in, we get our back strap grip, all right? So my hand goes to the ground, foot goes to the ground, flat tire, pull it up against it. Pull in this direction, I start to feel like I'm losing him. I'm gonna grab my rodeo grip here, right? My foot's gonna go behind the knee so he can't turn into me any further, okay? So I'm gonna, I have to get up now. So I'm gonna push up, pull my knee. Okay, so I kick with that leg, pull my knee up behind him. This acts as a ramp, all right? You can do it without the knee, but it's a whole lot of muscle. It's a whole lot easier with my knee behind me, okay? Because I'm just gonna now roll to my back, right? So here, throw the one hook in, turn back the other direction, looking for the second hook and start going into my attacks, okay? I said you can do it without the ramp, but we were playing with it earlier. It's a whole lot of forcing the guy over with your muscles, all right? We're trying to do it with technique and not with having to force him over with our muscles, all right? So I've got my back strap grip, drop my foot to the ground, put my hand down, I pull him in. I'm starting to lose him. I gotta stop him right here. I gotta stop him from turning into me right here. So I've got him stop. I'm gonna come up, all right? So this is what I'm talking about. I can force him over, but it's gonna be a whole lot of heaving. This is easier, all right? Back and then forth the other way. Just set the hooks in, okay? So now we're using the rodeo grip after the fact to secure the position. Everybody got it? All right, let's do it on three. One, two, three. start this time all right on the side instead of circling back to the hips we're gonna get our seatbelt grip all right but whenever we have our seatbelt grip just like I was telling you guys a minute ago I've got to be super aware of the fact that when I stick my hand in here he can trap me and he can start to roll me okay so what we're gonna do is once we get our seatbelt grip is we're gonna punch our front knee into this hole right here so I'm here on the back I get my seatbelt I'm punching my knee in this direction Okay? So once I punch my knee in this direction, guys, I'm gonna do the exact same thing. My foot, whenever I'm trying to pull somebody to the back control, okay, I don't wanna be up on my toes like this, all right? I wanna make sure that my foot is flat. All right, so I punch my knee into that hole there, and I've got my seatbelt grip here, and I put my foot in this direction so that I can pull him to me. I'm creating a ramp, just like we did on the back a minute ago, okay? So I've got this position here, and now I'm just gonna roll to my shoulder this direction and pull him to me, all right? As I start to roll him to me, I'm gonna extend my bottom leg, and I've already got my first hook, all right? If he's defending that bottom hook, right, as I pull him over, right, I'm gonna go for the neck. I'm gonna be able to establish my second hook, okay? So this one's a little bit easier because it doesn't take much to get the first hook because all I have to do is that and then put it in when I'm underneath it. All right, so I'm gonna show up a couple more angles so you can see that part. All right, I'm gonna rotate here. All right, so again, I've got my seat belt here. If I just sit in this position, he's gonna trap my arm and roll me. I'm gonna switch, I'm gonna put my, my front knee in. My knee's gonna come in here and I'm gonna start to just pull him off in this direction. As I start to pull him off, look, extend and set the first hook. 
So just extend that bottom leg and set that first hook. All right, so once that first hook is set, right, if I want to get the bat, I'm gonna start pulling him, I'm gonna start attacking his neck to get my second hook. Uh, I guarantee you, start attacking the neck, they will let go of blocking that hook if they are, okay? Or they might not and go to sleep. I don't know, it's their choice. Okay, so we're here, right? I've got my seatbelt, but I can't sit here. I'm gonna punch that front knee in immediately. Okay, because I know that if I sit there, I'm gonna get rolled, all right? So I'm gonna start pulling in this direction. Bottom leg comes out, set the first hook. Pull in this direction, set the second hook, all right? If you need to defend anything, so I'm just gonna choke for it. Last time, all right? Seatbelt position, right? I don't want to sit here. I'm gonna punch that front knee in. See, I just switch my hips. I was out here. I was heavy, but even with, when I'm heavy like this, right? And Corey was playing with this earlier. I can roll him still, right? So as heavy as you think you are, you can still get rolled over here. Okay, so switch. Front knee comes in. Flat tire. Put a ramp in, right? I'm gonna start to fall off. Pulling, extend that leg, establish that first hook. I'm gonna start fighting that second hook. Battle for the choke if he doesn't give it to me. And then get my second hook in and secure the back. Everybody got it? Yes, sir. Let's do it on three. One, two, three. Okay, position and we've got our seat belt, right? But this time, my partner is gonna be blocking the hole so I can't get my knee in. So I've got the side control here, he's blocking that hole. It's not an option, okay? So instead of trying to force it through there, or to just try to jerk him over with my uh, with my strength, right? So I'm gonna go here and try to jerk him over with my strength. I'm gonna hop to the other side using that momentum. My leg is gonna go like a flat tire over here and create a ramp when I do this, okay? So I'm here, I'm gonna hop over, Use that momentum to take the back, okay? So this is gonna be a, more of a quick movement or you know, a way to surprise them when I can't penetrate with that front knee. With that front knee, it makes it super easy for me to get to the back, right? But with this option here, it's, it's gonna allow me to hop over and still get the back, right? So we're here, I got a switch, he's blocking. So I'm just gonna hop over, pull, set the hook, set the hook and go for the choke immediately, all right? angle okay so I've got my seat belt remember I don't want to get thrown over here so this is not a position I just want to sit here and hang out in okay so he can't penetrate he's blocking the hole over here all right so I'm gonna hop over my foot is going flat to the floor as I do this but it's happening fast I'm pulling hook hook go right into my choke okay so that was slow time if he was to get your arm and start the roll, you could make that decision to hop over to the nasty roll. As long as he beats me to the punch, yes, he could. Yeah, Wait, what we're talking about here, come around, Corey. All right, with this, with this arm drag, we were playing with this earlier, right? If I get a hold of this arm, he's on that side of my body. I just have to drop my hip to roll it, okay? Now from here, I've got wrist locks and I've got arm locks, right? So we showed that from the sneaky back takes, right? So, all right, sneaky submissions when the guy's on my back. This, so this is a part of that scenario. So he's gotta be aware of that as soon as I, but remember Russ, if I go to do this, I can't really block the hole. You see what I'm saying? Because I gotta put my weight here in order to do this. All right, so I'd have to be all the way in here and do this, and now I can't go that direction. Yeah. See what I'm saying? So I really don't have the choice but to do one or the other, right? So I'm here, I'm kind of leaning this way to block the hole, so he's got to, he can't punch that knee in, right? He's going to hop over and start taking my back. You see the difference? Yeah. Okay, so I can't do that arm trap and take my base away. I've got to have a base. Make sense? Okay, all right, so let's practice that last one on three and then we'll get some rolls in. Let's do it on three. One, two, three. Okay. 